Okay, time to move my ant colony. Okay, the queen's in. I now just need to get the workers out. Oh no, they're escaping! Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Ants Myrmica and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing Europe's largest ant species, Campanotus lignoberta. So this species is distributed across Europe going into Scandinavia and into Russia. As you can see on this clip, I fed this worker some ant antics banana flavoured sugar water and she really liked it. As you can see her abdomen is completely full so she's definitely drunk a lot. So I was videoing this colony and observing them and as I was looking at uh, all of the ants and the brood, I noticed this worker chewing on something and it turned out she was chewing on her pupa skin this is basically you know eating the material basically reusing it and it's actually really cool to watch and i don't know how common of a behavior this is so it's very nice to see this i'm gonna show some of the raw footage and some of the sped up footage um in these few clips This here is a trophallaxis. Um, it's when two workers feed each other mouth to mouth, um, which is also quite nice to see. Now you can see in this clip that uh, all ants have hatched out, uh, which is good, but I'm gonna have to move them because as you can see, the test is really dirty and it's got like a dead mealworm corpse in it and pupa skins and so all sorts of stuff so i'm gonna have to move them and they're gonna be too stubborn to move so i've only got one choice so i'm gonna have to tip them out taking the lid off the wakushi venus nest went smoothly taking the test tube out of the uh, holder went smooth as well then I started to tip them out. The queen was tipped out on a few of the workers, but I still had the brood and the other workers to tip out. With all the workers out, I was able to take the test tube away and now try and continue to plug up the setup. And then a worker decided to try and escape. And then she ran out of the Wakushi Venus nest and onto the desk and out of sight. As you can see, I was really struggling to catch her. And then the queen was trying to escape. This was going absolutely crazy. I was able to catch the worker and put her back in the outworld. And she, and she had another attempt at escaping, but luckily I was able to use my finger to push her back into the outworld and I put the lid back on. And then the worker escaped from the hole but where I took the test tube out from. I was stupid enough not to plug it up when I took it out. Luckily she went back in seconds later. But seconds later she was back out again. I was able to take the cotton out that I grabbed the worker with.
and then the worker went out and escaped again and a second worker joined her. I was able to put the lid back on the Wakushi Venus nest. I was lucky that both workers went back inside the outer world again. Now it was time to plug up this cotton and stop these ants from escaping. I tried with my fingers once, it failed. And I came back with tweezers and nailed it. And then it was just a waiting game to see what would happen. I came back a few hours later. Oh no. They still do not want to move. And it looks like here that the queen is actually slipping on the floor. Is this why she's not going in the nest? Is it because she cannot walk there? Too much stress of being in the outworld and being in the open could take its toll on the queen. So I only had one choice. I got out my tweezers and boom, they're in the new nest. They are in the test tube. Wait a second, how did they get there? All right, let me explain. So, I basically did not want to film this uh, whole move or pushing the queen into the test tube because it was just way too stressful. So, I basically got out a brush and pushed her in and I did exactly the same with the larvae and the workers naturally just followed. Anyway, as you can see, they're very calm and they're very happy and they've got a nice little pile of larvae. Also, they're storing their fruit flies in a completely different test tube. It's either that they're just storing their food away from them or that's the garbage. I decided to feed them a mealworm and they liked it. Uh, it. As you can see, they're both very happy drinking from the mealworm juices. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video and you can like and subscribe. If you don't want to like and subscribe, then don't and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Ants Trails!